How much Solana do you need to retire? We're going to take a look at that today. We're going to take a look at a variety of different scenarios. You're going to be able to give your opinion and take a look at where Solana is going to go in the future. I'm not just going to say Solana is going to hit $2,000. This is how much you need. No, we're going to look at how you want to live. Do you want to live spending a ton of money or just a little bit, just be able to have enough to pay bills? And where do you think Solana is going to go? It's going to be based on your opinion, but we're going to throw out the numbers. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video. Obviously, if there are more people that subscribe, I know that more people want to see these videos in the future and I can continue to make them. It has been a while. I think it's been around six months since I did my last Retire on Solana video. Let me know in the comments if you want more of these and what cryptocurrencies you want me to cover. I did one for Bitcoin recently. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people asked for Solana as well. So here we are. Now, if you do want to trade Solana, there is a link to Margex underneath the video. You can trade Solana with no KYC, which means you don't have to put in a bunch of your personal information, tell them who you are, how much you make, anything like that. No, you can just sign up with an email, a password, check their terms and conditions, and you can start trading today in just a few minutes. And there's also a link to CoinW. In case you want to buy spot Solana, you can do it over on CoinW which means that you actually buy it instead of just trading it. And you can also trade over there as well because they do have the futures market. Now, obviously Solana has done extremely well. You can scroll out and you can see Solana was all the way down at $9 during the bear market and has rallied up to $210, now sitting around $167. So we oftentimes do see pullbacks when something's made such a huge move. I mean, when you even consider this, back in late January, it was $70 and then it tripled over just a few months. And that was after it already went up nearly 10x. So some people are up a lot right now. Obviously, some people bought at the top recently and are down a little bit. But Solana does seem to be one of the top cryptocurrencies for this next bull run. It's moved up, I think, better than any other top coin and any other top 20 crypto since the bear market. And a lot of people love it. They love how fast it works. They love how cheap it is to transact on. And when you compare it to something like Ethereum, it's no wonder why people like it. Now, before we even break down how much you need to retire, I do want to talk about the fact that owning 30, 40, 50 Solana is actually significant. Like it can make a significant difference in your financial life. And I realize that it doesn't sound like it because a lot of people talk about having a million dollars in Solana now or a hundred thousand dollars. Even just owning 50 Solana is significant. I mean, that right now, 50 Solana is worth about $8,500. It can vary a good amount, but $8,500 in an asset that's that can move up this quickly can be very significant. I mean, that's the cost of a decent used car, right? Depending on where you're at. Uh, but most people can't do that. Most people cannot invest $8,500 into a risk on asset like Solana. Right now, uh, the market cap of Solana is about one fifth that of Ethereum. Let's say this next bull run, Solana just hits the same market cap as Ethereum, right? Ethereum's market cap right now. So at five X's, that puts the price of one Solana at $840. And we'll look at different scenarios, like how much uh, you'll need to retire at certain different prices, but $840 per Solana, that means if you had 50 Solana now, $8,500, that would turn to $42,000. At the bottom of the bear market, this was like $500 worth of Solana, less than that, uh, but it could turn into $42,000. Now, the cool thing about that is if you do take profits, let's say there's never a bull market, another bull market after this one, but you get that $42,000 out and you put it in a boring S&P 500 index fund or maybe real estate or something that gets 10% a year. Maybe you're 25 and you do that for the next 35 years at 60, you retire. That'd be worth $1.2 million from the compounding. So like this amount, people will say, oh, you know, $8,000 of Solana, that's nothing. It's never going to be anything. Your, your friends might make fun of you, your family saying that you're investing something too risky. But if you play this right, you can make life-changing money. And it's not even like we're talking about 100x here. We're talking about Solana just going up to Ethereum's market cap now. Ethereum is probably going to 3x or something this next bull run, maybe 2x, 3x. Solana has been on a rampage, so yeah, it, it could it could 5x. Now, you're still starting from a pretty high price. This is almost the all-time high for Solana. 
but this can be significant. Now let's get into the numbers on how much you actually need to retire. Now obviously, depending on where you think Solana is gonna go, you're gonna have different price targets. You're gonna have different expectations of how many Solana you need. Now, I wanna go through five different scenarios in terms of price. You know, $250, it's around the all, old all-time high. It's maybe about 50% higher than we are today. And of course, depending on when you're watching this, this might change. Then maybe you're a little bit more bullish. You think uh, Solana is going to hit $500. I still think this is pretty bearish because we are talking 10 years into the future. But maybe you think Solana is going to hit $1,000. That's about a 6x from today's current price. Then maybe you're a little bit more bullish yet. And then super bullish $8,000 Solana. If Bitcoin was around $10 trillion, let's say Ethereum was half of that, and then Solana was half of that, that would be about this $8,000 scenario. Now, I'm not really accounting for the inflation. I think there's going to obviously be some inflation because there's staking rewards and stuff like that. You can plug that in if you want. In the end, if we're at $8,000 Solana and the market cap's $3 trillion or $2.6 trillion, uh, I think we'll be doing okay. And then depending on how you want to retire, you're going to need different amounts of crypto. Maybe you want to coast, like you just want to save a ton for the next 10 years. And then 10 years from now, you just want to like wait, leave that Solana for another 15 years, let it compound a while, and then you can retire. Or you want to invest very heavily now, and then you just like you just want it to pay for your expenses. You're going to live really lean. You're going to live in a low cost of living area. Maybe you only want to spend fifty thousand dollars a year. I realize some people that's not enough. That's okay. I'm just throwing out there that maybe you want to retire that way. And the reason I say fire is that stands for financial independence. Retire early. It's something that a lot of people that maybe have high net worth uh, or high income jobs that are trying to stack as much cash as possible. That's what they call it. Financial independence. Retire early. Then we'll go through traditional fire, which is, hey, I want to spend $100,000 a year. Like I, I want a good life, but I'm not super fancy, right? I'm not buying a $100,000 car, but maybe I'm buying a $20,000, $30,000 car. And then I have a decent house, but not a super expensive house. We go on a vacation or two a year, but not super fancy vacations, right? Fat fires, $250,000 a year. Fat fire, living life fat, <laughs> like uh, living life and spending a good amount of money, $250,000, then filthy rich fire, you're going to spend a million dollars a year. You can do whatever you want. Maybe you can't have a private jet, but you can go fly business class or first class most places. You can have the fancy car. You can have a couple maybe million dollar, multi-million dollar houses. That's a good life, a million dollars. That's a lot of money. So how much Solana do you need? And of course, you're probably going to have other assets too. Like you're probably not going to retire just on Solana. Right? You probably want to be well-rounded in your portfolio, have some diversity and stuff. But if you were just on Solana, how much would you need? We're going to assume that you get staking rewards of 1%. So what I usually do is the 4% safe withdrawal rate. This is a study that showed uh, that in index funds, traditionally, you can withdraw about 4% of your portfolio without losing the principal. So if you have a million dollar portfolio, you can withdraw about $40,000 a year. And the appreciation of the rest of your portfolio makes up for the amount that you take out. Now, we can't do that with crypto. Crypto has not been around long enough, but it has performed very well. So we're going to use that 4% rule, but then you also get staking rewards of 1%. Maybe you want to stake a little bit of your bag. Coasting fire, lean fire, traditional fire, fat fire, filthy rich fire. You can pause the video if you want. We'll go through a couple different scenarios. Let's say you think Bitcoin's going to $250 and you want to retire with $100,000 a year in income, keep in mind, $250, that's a 50% return in 10 years. That's that's not good. I mean, that's lower than index funds typically return. You need about 8,000 Solana. How do you get those numbers? Well, 8,000 Solana times $250 per Solana gives you about $2 million, and we're doing a 5% withdrawal rate because of the staking rewards plus a 4% safe withdrawal rate which means you need about $2 million worth of Solana, which is 8,000 Solana. So you could sell a little bit each year, get some staking rewards, draw $100,000. Now, what if you thought Solana is going to $1,000? About a cheeky 6X from here. You need about 2,000 Solana here today. And then if you think Solana is going up much higher, $8,000 per Solana, you'd only need 250 Solana. I know there are a ton of people in the audience that have that. But for some people, that's still too much, right? And you can go through different scenarios here. You can pause it if you want to look at, like, if I want to spend a million dollars a year and I think Solana is going to 2,000, how many do I need? 10,000. 
But what if you got a little bit more aggressive? And we'll go through like how much you need to just have more than the average person on earth. We'll also go through how you can lower these costs and how much this would actually cost because right now we just have the numbers of Solana, but like how much does it actually cost to buy that amount? We'll go through that in a second, but what if you were a little bit more aggressive? You had a 6% withdrawal rate with some staking. You know, it does lower the prices. So instead of 2000 for traditional fire, you need about 1670 Instead of 250 in this most aggressive bullish scenario for Solana of $8,000 per Solana, you need about 208 So if you want to get more aggressive with your withdrawal rate, obviously you need less Solana, but there's also more risk that you could run out of capital. So how much would this cost? Like we have the numbers here, 250 Solana, but what does that cost in today's prices? Well, if you think Solana is gonna hit $1,000 and you want 2,000 Solana, you need about $340,000 worth of Solana. That's, that's not cheap, but keep in mind, we're talking about a 6X and you need $2 million worth of Solana. It, it all maths out. But if you had bought at a more opportune time, this is why you wanna pay attention to videos like this during the bear market because the last market video that I did or the last video on Solana retirement I did was when Solana was $34. Six months ago, it was $21. So like there are better times to buy than right now. You could have bought Solana when it was up over 100% from the bottom. And instead of $340,000, it would be $42,000, right, uh, to retire with this $1,000 price target in Solana. So if you don't buy at the tops of markets or when we're already obviously in a bull market, you can buy Solana for a lot cheaper. I know some people that bought Solana at $10, $12, right? They went long on Solana and made a lot of money using leverage as well. Now, that is riskier, but something you can do. Now, what if you had bought at the bottom of the bear market? If you had bought right at the bottom, it would have only been $9 per Solana. So instead of this $340,000, it would be $18,000. I was dollar cost averaging at the time, not Solana, unfortunately, but I was dollar cost averaging, buying different cryptos. And that's the power of investing through a bear market. You can buy things really cheaply. And that's also why it's important to take profits at the tops of markets as well, because then you can actually have some capital to invest in that bear market. Now, one crazy thing is too, I'm not trying to tell you that you should do this or that you know it's a great idea even, but if you did go long on Solana, let's say you did a 3X long, instead of, doing, instead of uh, it costing you $18,000, it'd be one third that price. So if you put $6,000 into Solana, at this price, at the bottom of the bear, wrote it up at a 3X, it would only cost $6,000. Of course, there are some fees in there too, but that is kind of a, another superpower that you can use or another uh, way to invest that's more aggressive, definitely riskier, but also can provide you some good returns. And we've talked about that on the channel before in some full videos. If you need to look up my financial friend, Leverage Trading, you can do that. Now, what about if you had bought back in like 2020, 2021 when it just came out? Solana was really cheap at that point and just exploded in price. Well, it was at a dollar for a little while. You could have bought this, this uh, $100,000 a year withdrawals where you could just retire traditional fire. You could withdraw $100,000 a year for just $2,000. $2,000, obviously this is if Solana goes up to $1,000. Um, $1, so it would be a bullish scenario for Solana. But that's the power of a thousand X, right? From a dollar to a thousand dollars, you'd only need two thousand dollars to invest in it originally. So those numbers are just kind of crazy when you break it down and look at if you invest in cryptos early or in the bottom of bear markets, you can make a lot of money if you invest in the right cryptos. But even if you don't have anywhere close to this amount of money in Solana or this number of tokens, that's okay. It can just be part of your portfolio, right? You can have 100 Solana, and if it performs well, you still did well, right? 100 Solana, if we go up to $1,000 Solana, that's still 100 grand. That is a lot of money, and it's way more than most people will ever have on Earth. Let's take a look at these numbers. The Solana supply right now is around 445 million SOL tokens. The Solana supply in 10 years, let's just say it's 600,000 tokens. I looked about six months ago and it was gonna be like 550 million, so I rounded it up to 
600 million soul tokens. The population on Earth now is about 8 billion people, population in 10 years based on recent population growth, maybe 8.7 billion. Of course, it's impossible to know how many people there are on Earth at any one given time because there are so many births and deaths, but 8.7 billion, that means the average person on Earth can only have 0.07 Solana which honestly, that's a lot of transactions, right? Because Solana is so cheap. But that still shows you that if you have any Solana, you're probably doing better than most people on earth. And most people will probably never even buy Solana unless it goes super mainstream and people start using it without even noticing. But let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Are you on track? You don't have to tell me how much Solana you have, but let me know if you're on track for any of these goals. Are you trying to hit these goals? Uh, what cryptos are you investing in that you think you can retire early? Let me know if you want more of these in the future too. I realize there are a lot of numbers, but people seem to like it. I have done videos like this before in the past on XRP, Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, even some smaller meme coins. So let me know if you like this. Thank you so much. Again, you can check out the links to Margex and to CoinW underneath the video. I'll see you in the next one.